Hey guys, how are we doing? Very well. In today's video, I am going to talk about an unfortunate situation and I'm just bummed out about the whole thing, honestly. Like, there's no... I don't know how to put into words how I feel about this situation because a part of me is just like, meh, whatever, it's fine. And then another part of me is like, oh, for fuck's sake, like, c can we not? Like, do you really have to do this? Like, Anyway, so as you can probably tell by the title, one of my tattoos has been somewhat copied. It's it's not identical, but it's it's pretty fucking close if you ask me. So I've made a few videos about tattoo copying and why I think it's a bad idea and why you shouldn't do it. A quick little rundown though, quickly, briefly. Reason one is, you know, you could be copying a tattoo that's personal to someone. You know, like my tattoo that has been copied, it's personal to me. I have reasons as to why I got it. Another one, like this situation, is this tattoo is custom drawn. I paid for this because it was custom drawn. It's my ideas and the tattoo artist's ideas rolled into one and their artistic abilities because I have absolutely none. The tattoo artist that made this, you know, I gave them money and that's how they live, that's how they survive. And, and then you get, you know, another tattoo artist come along and they just, you know, take that idea, no creativity at all. And, you know, they just steal that idea and they don't put any effort into it. That's just not cool. There's so many other reasons as to why you just shouldn't take someone else's art. Like, why would you want someone else's artwork on you to start off with? Like, seriously. I know you see things, you're like, holy shit, that's really nice. Because, trust me, every day I see a tattoo and I'm like, holy shit, why didn't I think of that? But you just gotta let it go, you know? It's not like Instagram isn't a catalog for you to go through or Pinterest or wherever. Don't even get me started on Pinterest. Don't even get me started because I think this is where this girl stole my fucking tattoo and I've, there is people out here on YouTube stealing Pinterest ta Pinterest tattoos and other people's tattoos and we may, we may make a video on that. I'm sure, I'm, I think a couple of you may know what I'm on about with, if not, stay tuned. And I've had a couple of comments saying like, oh, I would find it, you know, complimentary or flattering that someone would want something I have, and it's no. I paid for this for me, not for other people. I didn't pay for this idea and this design for you guys to take. Do you know what I mean? Not you guys, I know you wouldn't take it. But for other people, I didn't pay for this for you to have it. Do you know what I mean? Like, fuck off, no, this is mine. That's like, buying some artwork and then your friend taking a picture of it, right? And then they go home, print it out and put it in a frame. Buy it yourself, get your own fucking artwork. <laughs> Even though most artwork is mass produced or whatever, but say you got a custom print or whatever and then someone comes along and they're just like, oh, that's nice, who did that? Take a picture, print it out, put it on the wall. And it's just like, oh, I actually paid for this for myself. Do you know, it's just tacky, cheap, don't do it. Okay, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna be going off on one in this video. But yeah, I've made videos also about taking other people's tattoos or artwork and then getting inspired by them or sending them to your tattoo artist and then they make up their own version of it. I think I've done like two or three videos on that. And that is the good way of taking someone else's tattoo or artwork and making it your own. It is absolutely 110% okay to use other people's tattoos or artwork as reference reference that doesn't mean you take it that's not what reference means <laughs> that literally like reference is like you'll take a little element from it here like say for the tattoo that i've had copied you know maybe you like the pizza or you like the fact that the pinup has tattoos itself you know you can take little elements like that but you cannot fucking take the whole thing it's not it's not okay um but yeah if you want to know more about that or whatever I'll leave links down below to that. So let's get onto this situation. So obviously from the title and thumbnail, whatever you know, the, yeah, pretty much my favorite tattoo has been copied for the most part. It's not 110% identical. There's a couple of elements that are slightly different. But yeah, I got this tattoo in uh, the summer of 2017, I think it was. It's done by Danny Cuapo, who is very well known. He is a very, very talented traditional tattoo artist. He's known for his bold colours, his bold line work. And he does a lot of pin-up tattoos also. And that's why I went to him for this. Because I saw a couple of his tattoos. I think it was a, uh, a circus, like, is it called a ringleader? 
tattoo. I saw that and I was just like, holy shit. And he kept making more and I was like, I need one from him. Like obviously on my own. And I sent him, you know, my ideas and um, you know, what I wanted. And he was like, yep, let's do this. And he created just everything I could ever imagine and more. You know, when you get a tattoo and you're like, holy shit, this is so fucking perfect. Like, <laughs> bless me. I get to own this on my skin. You know, you're so excited. You're so happy that this is yours forever. And it's done by an artist you really love and respect. And it's just everything. And that makes it meaningful also. It's a sucky situation. So let's go into how I found out about this. So someone who lives in the area of this um, tattoo artist slash tattoo studio posted the photo of my copied tattoo to my Facebook group. I'm not gonna use names or anything like that, but that's how I found out. It was posted into my Facebook group. So thank you to that person. I'm obviously now aware. I'd rather know than not know, to be honest. I know it sucks to know, but I would rather know that it's happened than not. Um, I saw it and I was just like, fuck's sake. <laughs> Yeah, I wasn't amused at all. I commented on it saying who is the studio or who is the artist. I was just like, I wanted to know who it was. I wanted to know what this artist was like, what is his other tattoos like, like where is he from? I wonder how he got a hold of this photo or was it the client that got a hold of it? Like I wanted, I had so many questions running through my mind. I was kind of like, does this person that has this tattoo know who I am? Or, you know, did she find it on Pinterest? Cause my um, pinup tattoo is on Pinterest quite a bit. So I thought, oh, maybe it's from there and they don't actually know who I am so they don't know you know my feelings towards tattoo copying but then I was like well maybe they just don't give a flying fuck and they really like the tattoo I don't know yeah I commented on it saying who did this and I waited for a, a couple of hours and there was no reply I'm guessing the person was from America different time zones whatever and I'm impatient so I put my years and years of watching catfish to good use and I reverse image searched the copy tattoo and it come up with a Twitter and it come up with an Instagram page and I was like fucking jackpot I'm just gonna go ahead with this you know I'm just gonna run with it and uh cause a scene <laughs> and I posted it to my Instagram stories I posted it to my Twitter and oh god you guys are some of you were funny about it you were just like holy shit um so the first tweet I put out was what a glorious morning <laughs> Mine is the left one done in the summer 2017 and then the copy is next to it. Um, there's so many funny tweets. I think the funniest one for me was by Molly. It said, yeah, you can copy my homework, but don't make it obvious. And the queen of anti-tattoo copy and capturing. As always, the only comfort in these situations is the original is a billion times nicer, which thank you. And it's true, like all shade, all tea, it is true. Like I said, when I did the reverse image search, I found the Twitter of the tattoo studio so it wasn't the actual tattoo artist i couldn't find the tattoo artist to start off with so i started kind of attacking the tattoo studio because they're kind of guilty as well um if you think about it like if you're hosting a notoriously known tattoo artist that copies people's tattoos like what what do you expect like look through people's portfolios for fuck's sake before you hire them so i kind of attacked them that's probably immature of me, but whatever i found that they tweeted my copied tattoo and they're caption was every man's fantasy and then I was I was so petty and I was like to copy someone else's tattoo don't think so fam <laughs> and then I found them on Instagram and then I started doing Instagram stories about it and then I commented on the tattoo studios Instagram where they had posted the photo and I said I don't know what I said. I don't think I actually even got a screenshot of it. They've blocked me now and they have deleted the post so you won't be able to find it. I think I commented something along the lines of I really like this design. It's so original. Sincerely, the person that owns the actual original. <laughs> something like that. I don't know what it was but oh, I wish I took a screenshot now. A couple of you guys that saw my Instagram stories was commenting on that and then I think they deleted the post and then they blocked me or whatever. But yeah, so that's, uh, this video is all over the place. I'm so sorry. But shall we take a quick examine into the differences of mine so first of all mine is fucking great all right <laughs> it's a nice tattoo in my opinion it was very nicely done so if we look at the um copy tattoo the face is pretty much the same but because the tattoo copy is bigger the face is going to be bigger so the face is a little bit more stretched out a little bit more fuller the hair flower is the, yeah, it's the exact same, let's be serious. The hairstyle is the exact same. So we've got the curl there and we've got it, you know, draping on the side. So the 
tattoos on the tattoo that are the same are the elbows well, one elbow the flower on the knees the same the sort of like tribal line work is the same so yeah that's about the same when it comes to the tattoos with on the tattoo let's talk about the pizza exactly the fucking same the only thing that is missing i guess is a few little bits of like bacon or whatever that is the mushrooms are exactly the same the pepperoni is the exact same they're all laid out in the exact same position the way the hand is is the exact same um i didn't mention but the makeup on the face is the exact same there's also the blue um sort of shadowing behind the pinup which is the exact same the shoes are almost the same they're just missing a little ankle straplet there the only thing that's pretty much changed is it's moved that to me is not no we've taken far too many elements to say it's inspiration there are too many things that are identical so, so to me the tattoo artist didn't take inspiration it's pretty much a, oh i'm just gonna move the pizza to the side a couple of inches add a arm that looks like a fucking tentacle let's be serious that arm looks like a fucking tentacle so yeah obviously i know it's not a direct copy but it's way past inspiration. Do you know what I'm saying? Like this is just not original at all. Like this is not an original idea. It's far from it. And I know for a fact that I do not own pinup tattoos holding pizza slices. I'm sure there's a few out there, but I can guarantee they don't look like the one that I have on my arm. There's gonna be a lot of differences, whether it's the hair, the face, the way they're positioned. There's so many different factors you can do with a pizza pinup tattoo, you know? And this ain't it fam like this artist no so obviously i caused an outrage a little bit on my instagram and my twitter and i was tweeting and talking about it and you guys were dming me saying oh my god this ain't it sis like what the fuck is going on here you know that tattoo is like one of your favorites like what is happening here why would someone do that and that's why i kind of think it's got nothing to do with someone that watches my videos or whatever i feel like it's some outsider person i don't know so yeah i then started getting you know when you're just mad and you just don't want to let something go and you're just yeah you're seething right you're just like for fuck's sake why has this happened and then i was like you know what just talking or commenting on the tattoo studio is not enough because maybe just maybe they are not aware of this tattoo artist shenanigans maybe they're just not aware okay so i was like you know what i need to find the actual eyes that did that because on the post from the tattoo studio there was no eyes tagged in it at all which is very weird in my opinion like why are you not tagging your tattoo artists? Hello? I just did some digging, you know, like catfish took over me and I was like, I'm knee fucking, sh well, how do you say his last name? Sh Shulman, sh Shulman or Max Joseph, like, hello, I'm Lauren. Hello, it's my time to shine in the catfish world. So I did some deep diving and the tattoo studio has actually a list of the artist in the bio which i never saw beforehand i kind of just sat there and was like fuck's sake i'm never gonna find this artist well i went back on there and then i went through the list and i stupidly started from the bottom and worked my way up because fucking idiot and i started from the bottom i think it was like five or six artists listed on there so i started i clicked on the bottom one went through the profile for a bit couldn't find the tattoo clicked on the next one went through the profile couldn't find it and so on until i got to the top one and then the top one obviously was the person that did the tattoo and i fucking should have just clicked on that to begin with but hello i'm obviously not that good at catfishing mtv don't hire me just yet and and then yeah i found the artist and i commented on that post which again i don't have fucking screenshots of fucking fuck's sake while this was all going on we were still talking about the situation in my facebook group and someone else had actually commented that they had found the tattoo artist and they had copied a artwork from either pinterest or um somewhere on the internet i don't know and i was like this guy is a prolific tattoo copier he don't give a flying fuck about other people's artwork at all and then i looked through his instagram a few more times and it was very obvious that he he's not shy about copying tattoos like no you can just go through it and there's so many that you have seen before without a doubt i wouldn't be able to give you artist names or anything like that but you know when you see a tattoo and you're like wait i've definitely seen that before or you've seen the artwork before so this artist has done quite a few disney remakes like an alternative disney remake where snow white is holding a skull i'm sure we've all seen something like that on tumblr 
plenty of times, eight years ago, 10 years ago, whenever Tumblr was in its heyday. We've all been there. Tumblr was great. Uh, not so much anymore. I don't think the artist has actually blocked me, but we had a few words. So he popped up into my message request. So when someone DMs you on Instagram and you don't follow them, they go into another folder, which is your message request. Which I wasn't gonna be petty and show you guys these messages because it is an exchange between the both of us and I don't know, maybe he thought this would be a private thing. But after looking through his Instagram, again, after doing this exchange, I was like, nah fam, <laughs> you have done this too many times for me to give you the benefit of the doubt. Cause at first I was like, oh, you know what? He seems kind of sincere. He seems kind of, you know, What's the word I'm looking for? Genuine. I was like, oh, maybe it was a mistake. And he just, he was, he needed the money or whatever. And I felt kind of bad for him. But then I looked through his Instagram again and I noticed so many more tattoos that he's copied from other artists, um, whether the tattoo artists or just general artists. So no, <laughs> I need a petty crown. I should make a petty crown. So he reached out to me and said, thanks. I'm not out here trying to steal people's art. I will research the references people bring in more, but I'm not a jerk or a dummy. You could have just said something to me which I did I commented on the fucking post <laughs> so I knew these were on other people and I would have taken them down no problem and obviously I will research more when there's a question or the art's origin I said dude <laughs> the piece of pin-up tattoo is an actual tattoo don't play that shit don't say you didn't know which is true the only sort of it's not a viral photo but the only photo of my tattoo is of the tattoo it's not a design the design was never posted anywhere like nowhere so he can't say he thought it was a bit of artwork or he didn't know it was another tattoo because the only known photo of my tattoo is on my skin it's me like this i'll flag it up here you can see it's on a person you know that's not a robot it's not a fucking mannequin that's clearly a person and even if it was a bit of artwork and you didn't think it was a tattoo it's still not okay like oh i'm feeling all the rage right now uh and then he said i know it was a tattoo girlie said it was her sister's but it's my fault i own that shit nobody's perfect dude but when a mf tells me something i should look into it i get it and then I said, then if it was her sister's, she would have gone to that artist, which is true. If you see a tattoo on someone you know, you ask them and then you go to that artist, no? Or is that just me? And then I carried on saying, it's rule 101 to not copy other artists' work. Do your trade some justice. That tattoo was mine and the artist's ideas and it's personal to me and now someone else is walking around with an almost identical copy. If someone gives you a picture of someone else's tattoo, you change it as much as possible to make it unique. Like I'm literally telling this artist how to do his job. <laughs> I shouldn't have to do that. <laughs> it's not my job. Like in my opinion, my job is to guide you guys, the clients, as to you know what is good and bad when it comes to getting a tattoo. Not an artist. You should already know this. No, yeah, am I asking too much here? Probably. And then he said, I love our culture and I respect where tattooing comes from. I'm not intentionally be in my uh, I'm not intentionally being my a scumbag at all. Okay. I apologize if I offend anyone. I'm just looking to be a good artist one day and during the day to day walk-ins is a part of it. I agree and again, I accept my responsibility, my bad. Now this is when I started to be like, oh, okay, I feel like a bit of a dick maybe, I don't know, I felt a bit bad. And then I said, well, a good artist does not copy and paste. You need to come up with your own unique style if you want to be known. No one will give you the time of day if you get a reputation and are and a art thief. I messed that up, I think it's and if you're an art thief, whatever. He then said, I get it and I don't want that reputation. People have stolen my original stuff too, so I know how it feels. And then I said, then why do it? Hello, wake up. I don't understand at all, art is limitless, which is true. There is no, there is no limit to art. You can create, literally, you can create anything, anything. Like, there is no limitations with art. Like, why are you stealing, slash copying, tracing, pretty much taking? someone else's artwork when you have free reign. There's no one there saying you have to copy this, nobody. And he said, honestly, I was just trying to keep the client. That is what they wanted and seemed legit. From now on though, I don't know, I'm a draw it myself. I don't want to steal stuff when I can draw. I said, okay, cool. Because I just, I could not be bothered 
with his bullshit anymore. I could not be bothered to tell him how to do his job anymore. It's not my job. But then, that's when I went onto his profile again, scrolled through and noticed loads of, you know, copied artwork and him taking heavy inspiration from other stuff I had seen years and years and years before. And I was kind of like, fuck this guy. Like, literally, fuck this guy. I cannot be fucked with you. You know, I'm not subscribing to that fucking newsletter anymore. And then I had a few DMs from people who knew this tattoo artist. Like, the, it's a small world out here, honey. I have my sources and he is known for doing this pretty much like people know of him for being an absolute fucking scumbag if you go through his uh profile on um instagram it he's got this merch that says fuck cosmo or whatever his instagram name is because people are always hating on him and he's trying to play up to that and say oh everyone hates me i'm making merch i have a bad reputation so he knows what his reputation is he's saying to me like a single person you know i'm sorry i'll never do it again blah 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 hell this bullshit it's like a cheating boyfriend oh i'll never do it again i'm i'm sorry i wasn't aware oh i'm so sorry that i hurt you i didn't mean to offend anyone when he knows what he's like and what people see him as so honey you can try and play that with me but hi hello welcome to the world of treacle tats where my voice is a little bit louder than yours <laughs> But yeah, if you look through his uh, Instagram page, there is women wearing booties. Like, he sexualizes women so fucking hard. And there is nothing wrong with people posting photos of their butts, their tits, whatever. But it's so seedy when it comes from a man's profile. And he's like, hey, wear this. Take a photo with this. Like, show me your booty. I'm putting it on Instagram. You know, it's... Ugh. So we have one here that says, I hate hit, and then it's his Instagram handle. And it's someone, like, throwing the fucking finger up, like, ooh. He's also tattooed buttholes, which I literally don't have a problem with. Like, if you want to get your butthole tattooed, that's fine. I'm not going to post pictures here because I don't want my channel to just, like, disappear for flagging up, you know, butthole pictures. But yeah, he's tattooed buttholes, and honestly, like I was saying, I don't care if you have a butthole tattoo. I just think it's one of those things that maybe, possibly, we shouldn't focus on it that much. And maybe, possibly, we shouldn't put it on Instagram. You know, like, that's something maybe you would, you would keep to ourselves. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's this guy. Like, if one of you guys posted a photo of your butthole tattoo, I probably wouldn't have an issue with it, honestly. It's just because it's this guy. Yeah, I mean, how many of you have seen this kind of artwork? I don't know why I'm showing you like this, but how many of you seen artwork like this? Like, come on now, that's not original, but all right then. I'm like 110% sure I've seen this before, and then this, so this is like the ultimate thing. Like, what the actual fuck? Like, he knows he has like this reputation, but why, like he's saying like, oh, he just wanted to keep the customer and he wants to be a good artist, he doesn't want to piss anyone off. Okay, fair enough. Start doing original fucking ideas to start off with. Get rid of this, you know, tactic or strategy of everyone hates me and, and here have my merch and take booty photos. And you know, like if you look at like all these artists that are known for their individual ideas. So Isnard Barbosa is always one that comes to mind because to me his creativity and his style is just unmatchable. If you want to be a known tattoo artist that is known for doing something or you want to have a following, you want people to come to you because you're talented, do your own fucking artwork. Come up with your own unique style. Copying other people's ideas and then having this attitude of everybody fucking hates me because I'm a scumbag is not working for you, obviously. <laughs> so yeah, I'd love to know your thoughts and opinions on this. I hope we're all doing okay and I will see you in my next video. Bye.